Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Vishesh and you're watching Web Toddler. So today we are here to discuss draggable scrollable sheet widget. So this is a demo for same. So first of all, I'll show you what exactly I've already done. So uh, what I've done is we have created a simple scaffold with an app bar and a simple container which contains a single cell scroll view and a column with four containers. So each of these uh, text that you see is part of uh, one separate container which has padding, style, font weight, this is the simple things that we can skip over so what i'll do is i'll simply like this is what uh, it contains now what i'll do is i'll convert it into a stack wrap it with stack children widget At the bottom, we have to add right. So this is converted to a stack. Now, what we'll do is, so one is container, another one. What we'll we have to add here is a draggable, scrollable, draggable, scrollable sheet. So this is what we add here. It takes in a builder parameter which is nothing but a which contains another few parameters which is build context and context then we'll uh, give it a scroll controller which is again simple scroll controller right and this takes in a function so it returns a container but it returns whatever you would want it to so simply in this video i'll show you it can like we'll create a list here and this list will be enclosed inside a container we'll give it some decoration as well let uh, that happen after some time what we can do is we can simply give it a child which is a list view builder right so it takes in a parameter called item builder inside item builder what we have to give is we have to give it a build context again build context which is nothing but again context then it takes in an in parameter which is we will we'll give a index parameter to it again it takes a function so here what we'll do is we'll simply create return a list here list type which has a Pardon. So it returns a list style with the title item number. Right. Inside list builder, it will take in two more parameters. One is a controller, which will be nothing but the scroll controller we have mentioned above. Second is the item count. So we are restricting the item one to three five. So this is pretty much done. So what we, let's see what it uh, shows now. I've already rotated it. So you can see that uh, we see certain items here, but it is again like it is not visible. So it is basically transparent. So we see everything behind that. So what we'll do is we will just give it a decoration which will be a box decoration inside this we'll give it a color colors dot red and uh, we'll specify the shade of it now what we'll also give we want to give just let's see one thing first 
so yes you can see that it is a little bit lighter we'll have we'll want it a little darker so yes you can see that the list is now big but the functioning is perfectly fine so you can see what i'm doing here when i scroll it down when i scroll it again it goes down here and when i scroll up i try to swipe it it first uh, takes the whole screen and then gets swiped till the list ends here so now uh, we'll just give it a certain border here so border radius would be radius border radius dot only radius dot only so leave it top left and top right border which will be a circular radius dot circular and we'll give it a circumference uh, like the radius of 30 similarly we'll repeat the same on top left fix in a double parameter now we'll see how it looks on hot loading we'll see that the corners have been rounded so this way you will be able to develop modern designs so this is why i like insisted on showing you this thing how to round the corners so this way you'll see a very smooth scroll and a smooth edges so this and it really looks good if you keep notice of it you can change the color here we can do it teal and give it give a nice blue shade here there are a few things you can play around with it so this is all about draggable scrollable widget so do like share and subscribe my videos guys and uh, just keep watching thank you so much for your time